Reports have emerged within the last 24 hours that Tesla is producing an insane, absolutely ballistic amount of mega battery packs at its new factory, its new, what they're calling mega factory in California. So much for this anti-California narrative. It looks as though Tesla is really building its business even bigger in California. I mean, just put these numbers into perspective. This is 36 gigawatt hours per year or enough battery packs to power 365,000 Tesla Model Ys or around 1,050 electric car battery packs every single day. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. And as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty shocked at these numbers. Little bit hard to believe. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that it's happening. If it said it's happening, then it sounds like it is. And the thing is, right, these new gigapacks are, I believe, using LFP chemistry, which Tesla should be able to get at a significant discount in comparison to 4680 cells. Therefore, more than likely, we're going to see some additional margin. What do I mean by margin? Well, Tesla's never really made a profit off its energy division. It's sort of like a, it's almost providing a public service when you think about it, the fact that they don't actually make a profit and there's enormous demand. So they could actually increase the prices because Tesla has way more demand than they can possibly handle from people wanting these battery packs, wanting not only Tesla power walls, but these new mega packs. When I say new mega packs, if you're wondering what I mean, they are new, they're a different chemistry, they're a different, they're a different build, they're actually much bigger than the previous model. And for reasons that I mentioned in the video where I talk about the packs, they're a much better model as well. I'll put a link in the description below to these new mega packs from Tesla, the video I made about that, and you can check that video out and see why these are a much better product, not only for Tesla, but also more importantly for consumers and for the electrical grid itself. Now you're probably thinking, oh, these packs are not for grid storage. Well, I can tell you now that they're being used for grid storage in many places around the world. Even if you're a little bit skeptical on that, it's a true fact. Tesla unveiled its mega factory in California for the first time as part of a hiring effort as it ramps up battery production. And not much has been said about this new factory. The irony is here, right? Elon Musk has been taking a lot of heat for his promises, making promises that he's not living up to, these kinds of things, right? The thing is, right, within a 24-hour period of time, Mary Barra has come out and said that uh, sorry, yeah, no, no, no. Um, electric vehicle production, we're not making 400,000 EVs next year. We're actually doing it in 22, 23, and the first half of 2024 put together. Put all that time together, that's the production we'll have next year. What we're promising for next year, that's what we'll do within those two and a half years. So, I mean, I think maybe people sh should lay off maybe Elon a little bit and, you know, Put your criticism where it should be, where it should fairly be. x pun they promised, what, nearly 300,000 vehicle deliveries this year. What have they done? Come on. Neo, what, what's happening with their sales figures? I mean, what, what about all the promises of, say, GM saying they'd have 18 different electric vehicle models available in uh, October, which we've got three days left for them to start selling about 14 new electric vehicles. Three days. Do you think that's going to happen? Yeah, I, I really think websites like Electric and Inside EVs and other places, maybe just like, you know, be fair, be objective in your criticism. Because within that 24 hours, Tesla has just gone and said, oh, we haven't said much about this, but guess what? We are producing enough battery packs to power 365,000 model Ys per year from this factory. I mean, if General Motors just came out tomorrow with this information, this would be front page news across all of America. Wow, GM was keeping this secret from us. They didn't say much. You know, they kept their cards close to their chest. Wow, look what they're doing. This is, this is amazing. That's what everyone would be saying. So last year, Tesla actually broke ground on their new mega factory to produce mega pack batteries in Lathrop in California. And the goal is to have a new factory focused only on building the large battery pack for utility scale energy storage projects. So in the space of the last 12 months, right, Tesla opened this new massive factory that's producing, well, nearly 40 gigawatt hours of battery production already within a very short space of time. 
And they actually increased their production significantly at the factory in Fremont. And yet everyone's saying Elon Musk is someone who hates California and he's crazy and he's moving the entire company out of California to Texas. Well, that's not really backed up by the facts. The facts are within this period of time, Tesla has hired more people in California to do what? Work at Cato Road as well. Battery production at Cato Road. We're talking Tesla literally has more than three sites now in California doing big things. Despite working on the new manufacturing facility for about a year, Tesla has said very little about it. So no one really knew what was going on. However, they've started to ramp up their hiring and they unveiled the mega factory just well within the last 24 hours on LinkedIn. So we don't know exactly if it's true that Tesla is producing 25 of these mega packs per day. That's what sources are saying. Now, hopefully it is true because if it is, these numbers are spectacular. So if you're looking for a job right now, Tesla in the engine is looking for people in the engineering and IT department, and they're looking for a controls engineer, a manufacturing equipment engineer, and a test engineer. That's near this factory, by the way. So the mega factory also has two positions in the vehicle service department, one for a calibration technician and another for a quality systems associate. Under construction and facilities, Tesla is looking for a senior facilities and mechanical engineer and a journeyman electrician. Then there's three openings under supply chain, warehouse program manager, materials planner, and technical project manager for production control. One thing that Tesla reported on that hasn't really been spoken about much is that Tesla reported a significant growth in their solar and energy deployment in the third quarter. And for a change, they uh, didn't really lose any money in that area. Now, energy storage deployments increased 62% year over year in Q3 to 2.1 gigawatt hours, by far the highest level we've ever achieved, said Tesla. This level of growth was accomplished despite semiconductor challenges continuing to have a huge impact on our energy business than our automotive business. That's intriguing. Semiconductor shortages have had a big impact on their energy business than on the automotive side. Demand for our storage products remains in excess of our ability to supply we're in the process of ramping production at our dedicated 40 gigawatt hour mega pack factory in Lathrop, California to address this growing demand. So clearly in the fourth quarter of this year, we're going to see a massive jump from the 2.1 gigawatt hours they reported in the third quarter. There's a good chance we could be looking at, you know, potentially seven to eight gigawatt hours being deployed in the fourth quarter. I can't say that's for sure, but based on these numbers, that's possible. Of course, Tesla does need to deploy them. And remember, these batteries, these massive batteries are actually used all over the world. There's storage projects in Australia, there's storage projects in many different countries where Tesla is deploying them. They're deploying them, some of those packs right now in the UK to help the government there kind of get around this whole energy crisis that they're facing from the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which has obviously put a huge amount of pressure on the price of energy in Europe. So if you're wondering how big are these mega packs, they're 3.9 megawatt hours in capacity each. That's massive. That's the equivalent of around 50 Tesla Model Y battery packs going into one single mega pack. So an output of 25 of those batteries per day is equivalent to more than 1,000 electric cars every day, or at least the battery packs that more than 1,000 electric cars would need. This is a huge part to the world's solution to our needs for energy and to our need to be able to have the ability to supply, to, to store excess energy from solar and wind, right? We need around four hours energy storage to make, to make solar and wind work all the time, all year. This massive deployment of battery packs in the United States and well, all around the world is so exciting to see. I'm absolutely stoked to see it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you surprised to see Tesla, you know, suddenly come out and announce that they're producing massive amounts of these battery packs? I've got to say, I am a bit surprised.